Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for August. Hope everybody's doing great. I wanna take a second just to remind everybody that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. So if you find it's not resonating for you, check your other signs and placements and see if your messages may be there. It's always a good idea anyway. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, Cancer, don't force yourself into a reading that is just simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? Cancer. Energy for the sign of Cancer. All right, Cancer, you are starting out with judgment in reverse. You have the Nine of Cups and you have the queen of wands so you're you're in charge you're um you have this glow up going on cancer i feel like there's some kind of a wish fulfillment that you're getting here it's like things are moving your way after maybe having made a poor judgment call in the past but you have this glow up going on people are listening to you they're attracted to you um people are are wanting to be around you you're very charismatic right now um, I do see that with the judgment in reverse, there could be somebody that you have made the decision that you're not going to reunite with, but you, you're very unbothered by this, it seems, because with the Queen of Wands, now some of you could have a new enterprise. Queen of Wands can be a business person, um, so, but just know that you have a wish fulfillment that is coming through here, either in relationships or with, um, with some sort of uh, business enterprise, perhaps, or both. So let's see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Cancer's energy. Show me who is in Cancer's energy. All right, so the person in your energy is starting out with the High Priestess, the Two of Pentacles, and coming out together, we have the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Oof. Uh, so be careful with this person. This is somebody who likes to keep secrets. Um, they may be coming across as being very mysterious, um, but they're intuitive as well. So uh, some of you could be dealing with somebody who is very intuitive, but with the Two of Pentacles, this person is making a choice here. There's some sort of a choice and they don't want to look foolish in this choice so they're kind of weighing out the pros and cons about something now what does kind of concern me is that this person could be doing something within their workplace that is not quite honest not not you know they're working on something but there's deception involved with this so for some of you this person could be deciding how to approach you should they approach you honestly dishonestly um, they do want to work things out, but there's something here that is, that's with the seven of swords, there's some sort of dishonesty and it may be within the workplace. Um, we'll, we'll clarify that for sure. Let me see, um, the energy between you and this person. Eight of cups. Yeah. One of you walked away from the situation. If they walked away that they, they were trusting their intuition as they did so. Um, there could have been secrets involved. I do feel like you may have walked away from uh, the situation as well, or maybe it was just you because you felt like a poor judgment call was made here. Let me see. Um, you may have realized that this person was keeping secrets from you. What's affecting this connection? The Four of Swords. Yeah, so there's a lack of communication that's here. You both have been trying to heal your energy and trying to gain your stability back. Um, and I do feel like both of you have gained that stability. There's still healing that each party is doing. You're focused on the things that your your wishes and desires and dreams. They're, they're trying to figure something out, though. There's some sort of decision here. Um, let me see. And I feel like they're having trouble doing that. Let me see the outcome. person could be having some financial issues and they may be resorting to something that's not quite honest to to handle that page of pentacles reversed yeah 
Um, there's a, a lack of a, a tangible offer. There's a lack of, um, and I do feel like definitely a lack of communication as well. So you, you may be turning down an offer or they may be deciding against something. We're, we're going to clarify. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. All right, you go, Cancer. That is such high energy. It's underlying energy. I do feel like it is your energy because um, you're really in this glow up. You're sitting back. You're allowing things to come to you. You're keeping your vibration high. And, you know, things are coming to you because you're getting these wish fulfillments. So it's very good energy. So I like that for you. Let's see. Um, Spirit, why is judgment in reverse for the sign of cancer? Why is judgment in the reverse for the sign of cancer? Okay, so we have the two of swords. We have the queen of pentacles reverse. So this was a loss for you. Um, this was a loss. I feel like you kind of went back and forth, back and forth about whether or not you needed to be in this connection or not, whether or not you needed to walk away. And I do feel like it, it took a while for you to make that decision. I feel like you had to take your emotions out of it. Um, so you may be feeling like you experienced this loss because of a poor judgment call, but either way, I do feel like you've walked away from this situation and you do not want to come back together, you know, with a reunion in this connection. Um, although you may have the choice to do so. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Temperance and the Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, you definitely are, are walking away from this. Um, you maybe feel you have a wish fulfillment that's being granted to you by the universe because, you know, and I feel like you may even be going through some sort of an ascension here. So you're balancing out your emotions since the ending of this connection. You no longer want this connection. Yeah, you, you feel like this, you're not seeing eye to eye with this person. You've, you've processed this loss um, and you're, you're, <laughs> you're very much done with the situation. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. Yeah, the Emperor. Some of you guys may have um, a new business or you may be making business moves, but you're very much in charge of this situation. You're, you're being proactive in your life and you, the universe is granting you wishes. You're, you took charge of your life. You have this glow up going on. You are trying to avoid a tower moment with this person though. I can see that. Um, you may have already had a tower moment. You're trying to avoid any future tower moments. And I also feel like whatever happened between you and this person, you felt you had to walk away and you're now recovering your energy and you've done a great job. You've done a really, really good job with that. Your energy is very high. You're at, you've taken charge of your life and now things are flowing to you and the universe is rewarding you. So it's beautiful energy. I like the energy. Let me see um, this person's energy. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? All right, six of swords and the five of pentacles. Yeah, this person's feeling rejected by you. So I feel like you were the one who chose to walk away from this. They feel rejected. They feel abandoned. They're keeping all that secret. They're keeping it to themselves. And they feel like they have no choice here but to move forward in their life. This has been chaotic for them, and they're now moving away from it. They don't like the feeling state of it. Why is the two, two pinnacles here? Why is the two of pinnacles here? All right, we have the eight of swords, and we have the two of wands. So... This person could have failed to plan for something financially. They're definitely in a state of anxiety and worry. They're thinking. They're thinking about some decision that they have to make. They don't know what decision to make here. There's a lack of planning that has been involved, and it's caused a lack of growth for them as well. 
they don't want to look foolish. This person doesn't want to look foolish. So I feel like, you know, they're, they're feeling trapped in some sort of situation where they're having to make this decision. It could even be financial, especially since it's tied to work for some of them. Um, but they're very worried. They're very concerned. I feel like they're having financial difficulties. Um, and if so, it's because of the lack of planning. They also feel like you have d chosen to move in another direction and you have, you have, and they don't want to, they don't want to feel foolish in your eyes is what it is. They don't want to look like a clown. They don't want to feel foolish. So there are definitely a lot of anxiety. They're an overthinker. I can tell you that. They think about the, this situation. They think about the fact that the two of you are not talking um, and they're trapped in their, their thoughts about this, especially if you've chosen to move in a different direction. Let me look at the bottom energy. There it is again, that two of pentacles. All right, so four of pentacles, five of cups reversed, and there's that two of pentacles. So for a lot of them, there's, there's some sort of a choice here, and it has to do with whether or not to do something deceptive in order to get money. There, There's a financial you know, difficulty this person is going through, I'm telling you. And I do feel like it may be caused by a lack of planning, also because they've gone through some sort of depression or some sort of sadness, most likely related to this connection. Because remember, they're feeling very rejected by you. But that being said, in looking at the past, they are aware that they sabotaged the connection. They, there was some sort of deceit here that sabotaged the connection. Now, they're going to be defensive about this. They don't really want to admit that. But I do see this person kind of weighing up the pros and cons about some kind of, um, some sort of deception that, that they could use or could do that would bring them money. But they're looking at the details of that. They're also looking at the details of, of the sabotage of this connection. I will tell you that they are kind of holding on to you, but they're lying about it. They're acting like they're, they're not. But they are, they definitely are. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here? All right, Four of Swords reversed. And the world. So you've healed your energy. You've healed your energy when you walked away from this person. You felt the loss. You experienced all of that. It was a hard decision to make. But you decided, yes, I am going to walk away from this. You told that this to that person. They're feeling very rejected by you right now, but they know that this cycle is over. This cycle is ending so that a new cycle can begin. And they're, they're being, you know, led by their intuition to realize that this cycle is over and that they have to move forward. So I feel like, um, I feel like if they do approach you, and I'm not seeing that they're going to, but I feel like you would be happy to tell them that, that it, this is over, this is done. Why is the Four of Swords here? Oh, look at that. Ten of Coins. You've got a lot of money coming in or a, a long-standing relationship. And it's because you've healed. It's, that's, that's your wish fulfillment. So I do feel like you are surrounded, Cancer, by family or friends that are very close. You have loyalty. You have money coming in. Um... And for some of you, this Ten of Coins could be a new commitment, a marriage, or a new commitment of some sort. But you've learned the lessons from the past. You healed from that, and you've moved forward. So you've healed. Um, this person is stuck because they haven't healed. They haven't healed. And again, I get this feeling that there's something that is money or work-related that they're trying to decide what they need to do if they need to move in a deceptive manner or not, and they can't they can't make a decision about it. They go back and forth, back and forth, and they're not following their intuition on that. So that's keeping them stuck. What's keeping them stuck is their lack of healing. 
Um, let me see the outcome. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. That's you and your power. The Death card in reverse. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So, you feel that this person doesn't have anything to offer you. You may still have feelings and emotions for them. Um, because I do see that there is residual feelings here. But you're avoiding a tower moment. And I feel like uh, some of you may be moving towards a divine connection as well. I do have to point that out. Some of you are trying to move towards a, a divine partner. And you are learning the lessons. And this person was instrumental in that. Um, and you're not trying to cause problems with someone new. Because this emperor could be a divine partner as well. And you feel very passionate about this person. So you're not, even though you may still have some residual feelings towards this person, at the same time, I feel like you're not going to jeopardize a new connection that you have, you know, for this person. Because you feel like they're not really offering you anything of substance. And this uh, new connection is. All your wishes are being fulfilled. And it's, it's literally cancer because you decided, you made the decision to heal your energy. You made the decision to, to move forward, to walk away from things that didn't serve you. And you felt like this connection was not serving you. There is still some unfinished business, but it has to do with loss. It has to do with a lack of um, a substantial offer. Now, in their energy, they are definitely holding on to you. This person um, feels like things are not over between the two of you, but they're not really offering you anything either. Um, there's, um, they're lying to themselves, basically, is what I'm seeing. They're going to be very guarded. They're going to be, um, you know, they want to work things out with you. They want to, you know, they feel like there's still love between the two of you. So they're in denial that this is over on the one hand. And on the other hand, they realize that they have to end the cycle and move forward. That's what their intuition is telling them. They're having a hard time doing that because they're not healed. Um, I just feel like, you know, that's why they're holding on to you still. They want to balance things out. They feel like things aren't over, but they're not really offering you anything either. So, all right, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords, and that is underlying energy. It shows anxiety. It's uh, It shows a lot of anxiety. It shows, and I feel like it's more this person's energy. I feel like they're sitting back and they're watching the universe give you everything that you want. Um, and, and you really are blessed in this reading. So if you're resonating with this reading, congratulations, because you, you are showing up as very blessed. This person in your energy, they're still holding on to you and they're watching you get this glow up. It's, it's a karmic lesson, but they have not yet learned their lesson. So let's see if there's any messages. Messages for the sign of cancer. All right, so we have palm tree. Yeah, stability, security, permanence. Yeah, growth. That's you. That's you. That's that empress energy. And then we have axe. Yeah, you you definitely did. You, you cut this. Um, breakup, separation, stopping the pattern. Uh, in their energy, we have butterfly. Relationship evolving to be the next phase. Healing the inner child. So this person has to start that process. This could be, you know, something, a lesson that they're learning that um, stems back to childhood for them. But they have to learn the lesson. So they are evolving. They are moving forward. Their intuition is telling them to do so. And then we have girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Yeah, so this person could be narcissistic. Um, boundaries. Setting up boundaries. And I feel like you did that. So I feel like you taught them something. All right. I hope that this is helpful to you. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button, Cancer. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.